going on guys today we're gonna talk about morley and why he's the best character in this game because he is insane with the amount of crits he can hit just look at this right here But before we get into that, there are potential spoilers in this for locations and elemental plots and stuff like that. And we're going to go over two classes that are decent and one class that I think just outshines every other class that he has in the game. So the first class we're going to look at here is the Nomad class. This this one has some pretty good passive abilities. Uh, things like Chivalry, which raises the entire party's critical hit rate by 10%. Uh, and Trap, which is less likely to be targeted by enemies during battle. Which this is really good, because this pairs well with the Val uh, that I built in my last video. Where he's the one taking and receiving all damage. So this will make Morley even less likely to be attacked, which is uh, which is pretty good. Because we don't want Morley to get attacked, we want Morley, Morley to do the attacking. And then you have things like Swindler, which increases party's critical hit damage by 10%, which is, this is the whole party, which is nice. And then you have Chivalry Plus, which stacks with basic Chivalry. This will uh, another, do another increase to the party's critical hit rate by 30%, by another 30%, that is. So you have a 30%, and then you have this one, which is 10%, so it's 40% uh, critical hit rate increase. Then once you beat the game, and you have these last little... Um, things here unlocked you can get decoy which increases damage dealt to enemies that are not targeting morley by 30 percent this does not apply to summoning magic and then you have poetic justice which raises the entire party's resistances to knockback and stun by 100 percent during battle which that's pretty that's pretty good the next class that i think is pretty good here is the samurai class i like using this one because it, it increases his damage output a little bit while also still letting him have pretty decent amount of um, critical hit stuff as well. There are a few pass abilities that you won't probably be utilizing if you run the Vow class that I had. And again, I'll have that linked either in the description or in a pinned comment. You can check that out as well because that Vow class is very handy for, for Morley, I think, in my opinion. But for Samurai, uh, you have things like the Blind Side, which grants a 10% chance of reducing damage suffered by a 70%. So there's a 10% chance they only take 30% damage. So that's that's pretty handy if it but the, again that's if morley gets attacked um then you have bushido which increases normal attack damage by 20 percent quick draw ignores 10 percent of an enemy's defense when using special attacks blindside plus which grants an additional 20 percent chance of reducing damage suffered by 70 percent so that boosts it up to 30 percent the 30 percent chance that morley will only take 30 percent damage with with blindside plus that's pretty handy then you have unparalleled raises attack by 30 percent when hp is at 80 percent or above so if his hp is at about 80 percent or more he'll do 30 percent more damage on his attacks which is nice this one i don't i never really utilized too much because morley was never the last one standing but if you're not running val or or are having issues demolish will increase damage by 70 percent when morley is the last party member a lot so that could come in handy, but it's not something I ever used too much. Mostly, um, everything before Demolish was good for Samurai, I think, in my opinion. Then we have the class that it just completely outshines every other class in the entire game, in my opinion. Uh, you have Nightblade, which you get as soon as you unlock Morley as a party member. Uh, this starts off with things like Faint, which increases critical hit damage by 20%. Then you have Moon Energy. This magical buff uses the power of the moon to boost an ally's critical hit rate. Then you have Incandescence, which increases critical hit rate by 70% during battle, which is insane. It's an insane amount of, of a boost. Then Deprivation, which critical hits will lower enemies' defense. This does not apply to summoning magic, and I do not believe this stacks. I think it's just a one-time thing for the enemy. Then you have Faint Plus, which does an additional 40% increase to critical hit damage, which boosts that up, boosts critical hit damage up to 60 percent which is insane insane and then finally if you have all of this unlocked you have retribution which means critical hits now have a 10 percent chance to instantly destroy an enemy and of course this does not apply to bosses or nemesis enemies or and it also says it does not apply to summoning magic as well so nightblade makes morley a crit machine just pumping out crits increases crit damage it's it's insane it's absolutely needed for morley to be in your party at all times in my opinion now for the moves i didn't talk about these individually because these are going to be the moves for every class regardless of what class you pick because these are the best ones he has um, and same with seeds which we'll talk about those here in a second so for the moves you're going to want to have um half eclipse 
Heaven and Earth, Petal Rage, Dirt Diversion, Water Diversion, Thunder Technique, Eruption, and Spikes. The, what this will do, this will cover just about every element that you'll encounter uh, out in the wild. You know, you have the moon, you have thunder, you have water, all, all the, you know, all of them, right? And you have spikes, which does slashing damage. And then for your shortcuts, these are just interchangeable, however you want to use. These are for whenever you're controlling Morley yourself, which are ones you want to have access to the most. Just make sure you put those there. Now, for his seeds, obviously, he's built around crit. So there's kind of two things you can do here. I've kind of played around with both of them. Um, mostly, I have increased my crit rate and crit damage even more you absolutely want crit damage and you want to absolutely have crit rate because you want to always be hitting crits and you want to ensure that your crits are hitting hard then you want to increase things like your special attack damage your strength of course your attack things like that but mostly you want to increase that crit that's that's what you want to mostly focus on with morley because that's where he excels and then you have you know your class abilities here we have faint incandescence and deprivation then for Morley's strategy, you have your tactics. You want to be on the offense. You want to have him target the same enemy that your player is a targeting. It's a targeting. It's attacking. And then you have your moves and your items on reserve resources. Again, like I said with Val, uh, they don't actually reserve them too much, but they're not just throwing them out there like crazy. They do actually like only use them when it's needed. Then you want to make sure your elemental vessel is on use because we want to be using that. We want, we want that moon thing, that the moon vessel out so we can slow enemies and speed up our attacks and everything like that. But one thing I did not go over last video was how to go about getting the last uh, plot expansion because I completely forgot. So you're going to want to go talk to a dud bear. So let's run over here and talk to the dud bear and Ilastana real quick. So now we're here with the dud bear. We'll come talk. Um, redeem grizzly syrup. Now here, that's where they all are. So you have one for every character. So just grab these, and then you can go into your uh, elemental plot expansion, which will be right ya. And now with Morley. That's Val. Yeah, I have all of them now, so it doesn't really matter. But now we have the Radiant Knight Tonic. Now we have access to all of these. These are much more expensive than the other ones because they're the last ones. So we do need 200 to finish these out just for the one uh, one class. So you can uh, do with that what you need. But let me know down below in the comment section what class you used most with Morley. Um, like I said, I used Nightblade far more than any other class because it was just insane. It does so much damage, it's crazy. Be sure to check out this video here for more Visions of Meta content. And a huge shout out to the YouTube members that support the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.